Well, good morning, Southlake family and friends, and blessed and happy Thursday. So today, if you would join me, we're reading Psalms 21 to 25 and Proverbs 4. And what strikes me today is reading through uh, the great shepherd psalm, uh, Psalm 23, and it's only verses 1 to 6. That's the entire psalm. But it just struck me again as I read it today. Um, about the just the beauty and the encouragement of this lovely famous psalm, and so I'd like to read it. Just make some just some simple comments as we go through. So David, of course, is writing it, and he says this: uh, "The Lord is my shepherd; I shall not want." So the very first thing that David says is that if the Lord is my shepherd, I'm I'm going to be content. I won't be in want for anything. What is the role of a shepherd? Well, a shepherd provides for, protects, as we pray every day, and directs us. And so if in any area of my life I'm not experiencing those things, then it's only because I'm not allowing the Lord to be my shepherd. I've come under the shepherding influence of someone else or something else. He goes on, he makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. I've felt like this in the last several months dealing with this long COVID thing that, uh, you know, the Lord's like made me lie down. I mean, literally this massive fatigue that thankfully is is over now. But um, but why does the Lord lead us through times where he allows us to, to be in a place where we really can't physically do some of the things we'd like to do? Well, it's always because he's restoring our soul. He's wanting to do a work on the inside whenever he's calling us to rest on that outside. He goes on, he says, he leads me in the paths of righteousness for his namesake. Paths of righteousness or right wiseness are not for my namesake, not for my glory, but for his name, for his glory. It says, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, shadow of death represents our greatest fear in life. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Why? For you are with me. The answer to the fears that you and I face every day, no matter how intense they are, is the presence of the Lord. Or to remember that you're never going through that alone. He goes on, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. The rod and the staff were used by the shepherd to um, protect and direct the sheep. And they brought comfort, which meant security to the sheep. It does to us too, the Lord's rod and staff. You prepare a table, literally it means a banquet before me in the presence of my enemies. I love that. You anoint my head with oil. Oil always represents the Holy Spirit. So we are anointed with the Spirit of God, filled by Jesus with the Spirit of God. And therefore he says, my cup runs over. When the Holy Spirit fills your life, it's meant to overflow your life. So there's an abundance of life for you. And as you walk through your day for the people that you will touch. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. I love that too, because we talked about goodness yesterday, but to think that that goodness and, and mercy follow me, and actually the word follow there means pursues me. He'll never let me go. And then finally, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And the best part is we're going to be with him and that will never end. It will be for eternity. So let me pray for us. Lord, today we commit to you being the shepherd of our life. Lord, help us to find our contentment in you that we would not want for anything as we walk with you. Thank you for today, filling us with your Holy Spirit, anointing us to overflow. And we thank you, Lord, that you will help us with any fear that we would face today, that we know we're not alone. So thank you for providing, for protecting, and directing all those, all those things that only you can do as our good shepherd and we commit our life to you that you would do that for us, our family, our church family. We thank you in Jesus' name. Say amen with me, will you? Well, amen and amen. We'll have a great Thursday. I'll look forward to talking to you soon.